Hey guys, I'm in the middle of making my bento box for school tomorrow. But tomorrow's Halloween. I want to make it more special and spooky. But I don't know how to make it spooky. I have an idea. Let's go ask Combo. Combo, Combo, are you there? Oh, hey there, Ryan. I was just in the middle of doing my spooky science experiments. What's up? I need your help. I want to make my school lunch for tomorrow spooky, since it's Halloween tomorrow. Oh, that's a great idea. You know what? I'm going to ask some of the guys from the studio space for help. Will that work? Yeah. All right. I'm going to go ask our friends. Be back shortly. OK, Combo. Ryan needs help putting together a spooky bento box for lunch tomorrow. Can you guys help Ryan out? Ooh, okay. I'm gonna make the spookiest bento box full of monsters. Um, I would also like to help you, Ryan, but I think my bento box is gonna be super cute. And just because it's Halloween doesn't mean that cuteness can't happen all year round. <laughs> Cute and Halloween are not supposed to go together. Halloween's supposed to be spooky. Um, you don't even know what you're talking about. Uh, yeah, I do, okay? I know Halloween. I've been celebrating it my whole life. Okay, I'm well, my box great. is gonna be a lot more. Hey, hey, guys! Let's all calm down. Let's just focus on making the Halloween bento boxes. Ryan and I will be the judges. So good luck! It's, it's on! on. What are we putting in our bento boxes? Cause I won't see any food. Hmm. Well, how about we whip something up with some Halloween and cuteness magic? <laughs> Boom! <laughs> well, okay. Uh, I guess there's the food. All right, let's get started. Yeah, on my spooky monster Ooh. bento box. On my cute bento box. Look at all this spooky food. Okay, so I think my main course for this lunch is gonna be this PB&J sandwich. But in order to make it spooky, but still cute, I think I'm gonna use this super cute spider web cutout and see if we can get a really cute cutout of the sandwich for the main course of the meal. Let's see how this goes. <gasps> okay. Jelly's coming through, so we're gonna have to work with this a little bit. Kind of. We can make the pattern a little bit more defined, I think. Okay, so I'm doing my monster box Ooh. here, and I see that we've got some cool gummies. So I see I've got like teeth gummies, and we've got brain gummies. I think I'm gonna try to do something there like a zombie, you know? You got uh, like eating a brain. I'm gonna try that. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can get like a zombie body though. Got a lot of green here, we'll figure it out. All right, so I'm not too happy with how these lines turned out on my sandwich. So I'm taking this knife to define the spider web a little bit more. All right, my main course is going to be the spaghetti. Ooh, yes, ooh la la. Wait, that's French. Okay, let's get it. Oh, okay, gotta make sure we're getting it in the right container, right compartment. Oh, yeah, a little messy, a little messy, but. I don't think we're being judged on uh, cleanliness. That's not cute. It doesn't have to be cute. It's supposed to be spooky, and spooky stuff gets a little messy. All right, so next, I want to put some cute little berries in there, of course. I want to make them look good and make sure we have some variety. So we got some strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, blackberries. And then, after I make sure they look good, I'm gonna put some different eyes, some different things in the berries to make them spooky. All right, so I got my monster face going here in my spaghetti. See, I got olives for the eyes, a little tomato mouth. I think it looks pretty good. Okay, so for my grapes, I have these cute little eyes. Some have hearts, some have stars. These are just regular eyes to give our grapes some personality. And I think they're gonna go right here in the center. Okay, so I kinda wanna have a cute little saying in my bento box. So I'm doing some letter cutouts with my cucumbers to make the word boo. So I already have the first B and the first O and I just have to get this last one done. 
All right, so I'm kind of doing my own rendition, spooky rendition of ants on a log. So I've got my celery, I put the peanut butter on it, but instead of covering it with raisins on top, I'm doing eyeball candies. These guys are looking spooky. Monsters gotta have spooky eyes. Everything is watching you. These are my ghost cucumber chips, and I'm trying to make a face that's maybe a little creepier, not as cute, because it is Halloween. I do have to be a little scary, I guess. Okay, so I still think I need to do a few more finishing touches, but I'm liking how it's looking so far. It's pretty cute. So here I have my spider peanut butter and jelly. So I cut the web into the sandwich, and then we have some spiders. Of course, they're friendly colors like pink and green. Then here, we have a little pumpkin tangerine that I put our little witch friend in, and it's being surrounded by some ghost. And then here, behind our ghost friends, we have some fruit with some little cats in there with boo spelled out in our cucumbers from earlier. We have our grapes with the eyes in them. And then of course, we had to put some Halloween candy in our Halloween bento box. So we have some candy pumpkins, some candy corn, and then some cat-shaped animal crackers. And then last but not least, we have all of our ghost cucumber friends right there. Well, for my spooky bento box, monster style, we've got our main course, spaghetti, like the monster face. We got olives for the eyes and a little tomato mouth and some pumpkins at the bottom. So, you know, it's a little bit of a spooky setting. Uh, and then as you can see, he's got a vampire right there. And that's because we have a bunch of vampire bats over here, animal cookies, ooh, tasty. Right above that, there's a spooky little ghost face going, woo. And next door to him, we have our gummy zombie mouth, eyes, and a, is that a brain in there? Uh -uh. And uh, up top, the best part of the dish, we have the combo crew. Uh, they're, they're ready for Halloween though. They're gonna go trick or treating. It's our version of ants on a logs with pandas. Whoa guys, your bento boxes look so delicious. The first bento box is really neat. Those are some funny eyes on your grapes. And that spiderweb sandwich looks so spooky. I really like the little faces over here. And how it says, boo! The second one is kind of scary. Is that spaghetti? Or, <gasps> worms! There's also tiny little brains. That'd be perfect for any zombies. I hope there's no zombies around here. Hey guys, nice work on those bento boxes. After talking with Ryan, we have decided that the winner is... Bradley! Ah, <laughs> yes! Good job, combo team! I knew we could do it. Our bento box may have been a little messy, but that's just the scary boost that we needed on Halloween. Well, I'm sad we didn't win, but I'm still pretty proud of our bento box. It's super cute, and I know we did a good job. Your cucumbers were really good. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for the great idea, guys. Now I'm gonna work on my spooky Halloween bento box for tomorrow. Oh, I think I'm gonna need to tell my mommy to go to the grocery store with me so I can buy some spooky stuff. Well, thank you for watching. Remember, always stay happy and rise up. Bye, mommy.